morning, guys. So, just got here to Suzhou. So, we're currently here in New York. Yep, I'm gonna circle that. That's the United States, and then we fly over the Pacific Ocean, and boom, Suzhou right there. Uh, that's that's where we're going. That's what you're going to see in a video in five, four, three, two, one. There's a lot of a lot of Chinese people out here. Welcome to the China Cup. A Chang a Chang Chang a Chang a Chang Chang Chang. Good morning. We're headed off to the airport soon, but I'm so freaking tired today. It is daylight saving, so it's technically supposed to be <laughs> six right now. Look at this green smoothie. It's more black though, cause I put blueberries in it. How is it? Is it watery? Ugh. Some what do you have there? Oatmeal. Ooh. Yeah. Is there is there waffles I see? Waffles? Yeah. No. We just got to our seats. Annie and I have the middle section in a business class. You got the cranberry and all. And I'm gonna be talking about my experiences out here and what it sort of feels like to be home. Well, kinda. So let me explain why I look so tired. Uh, first and foremost, this Suzhou was like the second leg of a longer trip that we took. After spending four days in Nanjing, we, we took a train, which was this shot in the beginning. The reason why I look tired is because we've been working with the two different tourism boards, uh, the Nanjing tourism board and the Suzhou tourism board. And I'm talking about full days worth of itinerary um, from starting off from 8 o'clock in the morning, sometimes even earlier, and having to shoot like three plus locations and, and also experience the culture and the food and, and, and also the local customs. We just got some really sick shots of the canal and we're currently at Tiger Hill getting ready to meet with a bonsai master. I've always loved bonsai trees. Dasha over here. And we have Junior Dasha. <laughs> One thing you should definitely expect when traveling to China is that there's going to be a lot of Chinese people. acres of land and it took the general 12 years to build it. This is restaurant. That's the guy. I know. I don't know the noodles, so it gets soft. The noodles coming. Uh, How often do you get the, sh the actual owner to come and help you with your noodles?
do some stuff. Get wavy. There you go. Work it. <laughs> Morning, guys. It's currently the last day of our trip with Visit Suit Joe, and we're currently in Tongli. <laughs> <laughs> so we're currently setting up this shot uh, for Jaylin. She's currently getting dressed up and we're going to pick one of these ladies on a boat and then set her up for the shot. It's going to be super cool. I just wanted to note this, I guess. So something I really love about creating and going on trips like these is that you have no limitations like your the world is your canvas like you could step out explore the city and film almost anything that you want you want to do that? what do you want to do a player hand yeah huh yeah 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 okay. <laughs> follow me <laughs> For me and my style in particular, I love to like get in people's faces and you'll see some shots like this. And then I, I love to like, I guess I'm not afraid to shoot anything and to try to capture the essence of like the rawness of a city. I hope you enjoyed the video, first and foremost. I hope that this inspires you to go out and create. That's something that I also forgot to mention was that this was Jalen and I, like this was our first time going to China and we're of Chinese descent. And it's always been like a dream of mine to go. I was like a little kid, I don't know, as a little kid growing up in Oakland, the, the main parts of China that we, we'd get to experience is like in Chinatown or like in your households. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty bad at doing this too, but I guess I have to tell you guys to like subscribe and if you enjoyed the video or if, you, if you're new to this channel, what's up? Welcome. Um, everybody on here, I consider fam. Really trying to do YouTube this year and trying to do Instagram as well and trying to balance that out with all the other stuff I got going on, but you know, it's, it's a learning experience. So as this channel grows, I hope you guys stick around to watch it grow because I'm, I'm really excited for it. All right, peace.